Life. One less choice when it comes to picking a place to eat on the causeway. In a couple of weeks, Tacky Jacks will be shutting down, but managers aren't blaming the closure on low sales. News 5's Alan Carter joins us live from the restaurant with details. Alan? And Roseanne, if you come along the causeway and look at one of these restaurants, come and find some place to eat, you'll probably have a hard time finding some place to park, maybe even have to wait on a table. So the managers here say it's not an issue of traffic going through the door, but it was getting to the point where overhead was becoming too much. There are a couple of things the causeway is known for, an alternative to the Bayway and seafood. You expect to go to a seafood restaurant and get fresh Gulf shrimp and things that are caught here, so that's what I think of when I think about the causeway. Eight restaurants line the strip, but soon that number will be cut to seven. We uh, made the decision to uh, shut this location down. Our After four years here, Tacky Jacks will be closing their doors this month. I would be very upset. It surprises me very much, but then you probably got new ones coming in that makes it hard for the other ones. Managers say financially it didn't make sense. The building is a little old and needs upgrades that are too costly to fix. Business decisions you know, have to be made when you look at a cost of upkeeping a facility and, and uh, what your sales are. You have to make decisions and we just felt like uh, we weren't prepared to go into another lease. It's not just losing a place to eat, but people are also losing a job. We have 50 employees, uh, three managers that are good people, hardworking people, and I uh, hope they can find a job quickly and we're going to do what we can to help them. But is the loss of one restaurant a gain for the others in what is an ultra competitive market? You know, whenever there's less competition, those guests have to go somewhere. It's always unfortunate when that happens. I mean, it's a very competitive industry. Labs opened about a year ago and they say business is great. But crucial to that is location. You know, I think this, this strip of land is uh, thriving regardless of that, and it will continue to thrive, and people love it, and we're very excited to be here. And back out here live at Tacky Jacks, you can see that they already changed their marquee, and they're offering 20% off of your food order if you come out here between now and the time that they close. That'll be on October 19th. They also have three other restaurants which will remain closed, which will remain open on the beaches of Baldwin County. Reporting live in Spanish Fort, Alan Carter, News 5.